Hello YouTube, and welcome back to another Obby Creator video. My name is Zero Studios, and today we're going to be building floor 10 of Citadel of Abstraction, which is the soul-crushing, nope, which is the Citadel for ring 2 of my Obby Creator JTOH rings. For this floor, I've composed my very own music. If you do want to play what I build in today's video, the Obby ID is right here. So with that, let's get started then. The previous floor was big storyline developments, or the previous video, which was these two floors. I said floor, I meant floors. There might be some storyline things on this next floor, I'm not really sure yet. I haven't really planned out what I'm gonna do for this floor, like the floor itself, but I guess we'll just kind of do whatever I feel like. Uh, let's make it, let's make it blue. Like, break the color scheme, I guess. And then you jump into the next floor, like right here. And there we go. Okay, made the floor in here be the correct color, except the bottom here, I put a 0.05 ceiling here. It shouldn't affect the gameplay at all, but I'll make it can cloud falls just in case. That way, this appears the right color, and so does this. So, before we actually build the parkour, let's look at the music I actually composed myself for this floor is. So I made this using a program called Muse Score 3. In this program, you can, like, click notes and it'll play them. You can also choose different instruments. And so, you can make a score, that's why it's called Muse Score, which is like, when there's like a concert, the conductor sees this, then each individual person playing an instrument just sees their instrument. So this is like the score, and here are all the instruments for this song. The title is, it says, I don't know, because I started this before I knew what floor I was actually going to do this for, and I'm too lazy to change the title and subtitle. But it's also set to the key of concert A flat minor, and Muse Score allows you to export something you make in a few different ways. Like you can export as a PDF if you want to use this to actually make a score for a concert or something like that, or you can also export it as an audio file and then you can do something like uploading that to Roblox, which is pretty cool. That's what I did here. So let's go ahead and play this. Cue the applause. Anyway, a few other things. The song is 96 seconds in length, or a minute and 36 seconds. And another thing, I ended it kind of in the same way I started with just the timpani and the concert bass drum. So these two percussion instruments. The reason I ended it the same way I started over here was because it's going to loop in the Obby Creator Tower. So I wanted it to kind of start and stop in a similar way. Earlier today, as of recording this, I uploaded this audio file that I exported from Musescore to Roblox. By the way, if you want to use the song in your own Obby Creator or JTOH Towers or whatever, then you can, and you don't need to credit me either. Uh, I did put Roro Studios in the name of this asset, so if you're, if so if it's an Obby Creator, it's gonna show up over here and say that here. Uh, and if you're using the JTOH Tower Kit, then it's gonna say it if you hover over the little mute music button in the bu in the bottom right. So now we can begin building the floor. So I think. A kill brick floor maybe let's make it be a teleporter but it's gonna look like a kill brick so it's like a kill brick teleporter thing like rather than doing a kill brick with a teleporter on top i just make it just be the teleporter to save on parts oh apparently they changed the way that the you set the teleport location thing okay i see so you can still use the old system but you can also do that i can i can see how that's useful so if you wanted to teleport you in the middle of the air 
or whatever, you would previously have to um, like place a temporary part there and then click that. But with this new system, you can you don't need to do that. But for this, we'll just do set. And so if we give this a test, it just does that. Okay, I also just put the roof here. So let's begin building. I'm pretty sure I already said this, but if I didn't, uh, we're kind of just gonna do whatever I feel like. There's, I don't really have a specific plan here. Uh, but I guess let's start with a jump to here and then maybe a moving part jump. I feel like I don't use these as much as I would like to, but okay. Okay, so it's a little bit of a long jump there, but that's okay. Because it's a kill brick teleporter, I don't need to worry about you being able to just like jump across the kill brick or, or whatever. But from here, I guess we'll jump to this platform, but let's make it a conveyor because why not? Let's make it unmarked too, since this is a safety net. Oh, I also just remembered I put in the Citadel of Eternal Corruption statue down here. Uh, just figured I'd mention that. I did have to adjust the parkour up here. So if you want to see it, uh, here it is. You do go kind of on top right here, so that's pretty cool. I thought of that because I was looking through here to see if I got any ideas, and I happened to click this and see that, so yeah. Let's do some ice sphere jumps, because why not? So let's do like 5.5, I guess. Next, let's do a jump pad on top of this, on top of, on top of a part here. And then let's make it neon. So you'll go up to the top of the floor like this. And I'll try to make it so you just, you, yeah. I know I said some ice sphere jumps, implying that there would be multiple, but I've changed my mind. So you're gonna do that. A jump pad up to these trusses here. You don't quite hit your head on the ceiling here, so we can do like a 10 stud wraparound. So let's do that. I don't think I've done a single one in this tower yet. No, I did, I did do one on floor three, but it was like the first jump after a safety net. There we go. Then maybe walk arounds, but not really walk arounds. Uh, you'll see what I mean. Let's do like a wedge and then it needs to go down to a six stud tall height, I guess. So this height, so it should be like that. And then let's do something like that and then do this and then uh, that. There we go. Now with this, I'll be able to do a walk around kind of thing. I don't know if these have an official name really. But if we do something like this, then I did press space there but you need to be careful so that it does actually register your jump properly because you are right under this platform here. Next, let's make it so you go outside the tower a little bit, but not really. I did something similar to this on Steeple of Santa's list for my Christmas event. So there's gonna be like this thing outside here and like automatically push me out, that was weird. I think it's cause this isn't like tall enough. I think it would look cool if this like the fog, I guess we'll put fog end on this floor. I don't think I'll set it as low as I can set it, which would be 50. But I think, but enough so that this can extend up and look like that goes super far up and you can't see, cause like it's gonna disappear into the fog. And I'm not sure what to do about um, the bottom here. I guess do the same thing, or maybe I'll do like a button that like moves a moving part to right here so that it like closes so you can actually get through. But other than that, it still looks like you would fall infinitely. I think I'll do that. I tried to do something similar down here and you could hit the button again, but if, but since you're like falling down here, if I put it, if I put the button like halfway through, you're not gonna be able to jump up and press the button again, unless you go back over here, in which case, then you'd hit the button a second time and open it back up and you'd fall. So that wouldn't work, but what will, will be just a regular part like right here that you can land on. Now let's put a button here you're gonna jump to to activate platforms that you won't, so you can't jump down from here. You will still be able to hit the button though. That can be solved with a high speed conveyor right here. So any attempt to do that is gonna launch you back over here. Also, there will be a button that closes this because I was testing it a minute ago and it's possible that something like that is going to happen. So I wanna make sure your run doesn't end in a dumb way like that. The button itself will activate a platform right here for you to land on after you press the button. We'll make it 0.6 transparency before you press it. Although for building it, we'll just go ahead and do that. Like that way you'll be able to see this is gonna activate beneath you so you don't need to like do something like that and land back in and then fall, I guess. Next, let's place a part like this and you're gonna wrap around over here. And actually by this, I mean right here. We're gonna put a, like, for a, a part turned 45 degrees here so you have to wrap all the way around. I'll, I will test it to make sure it is possible. Yeah, that's fine. From there, let's put some half studs. And you'll jump up to there. Next, you'll jump on this moving platform, which should take you over here. Yeah. And you shouldn't be able to jump to here anymore, so you'll be able to jump to a spinning part that is not button activated. Uh, these are both on five second timers. 
Uh, I could make them be not that. So I'll do that, because why not? As long as they're the same, then it should ensure the cycle will be correct um, every time. So if I do something like this, it should, like, you should always be able to get to it, to this spinning part while this is over here every time. Yep. Now we'll make this a little bit larger so it's easier to jump onto. From there, let's make it so you jump to this safe platform with no moving parts or kill bricks or anything like that. And then you'll do a wrap around, but it's gonna be like a raised wrap around or whatever you'd call this. Next, I guess a tightrope. So let's place a one stud here, which you'll jump to. Then we can clone this and move it right here. And then we'll make it, we'll make it point three. And how about falling parts now? Okay, so you'll jump across these like that. I put those exclamation marks on there to mark them. And then you'll do a kill brick wrap around. And then here's a heel spot if you need it. I put this here so you couldn't use this jump pad to choose the section. By the way, this button is gonna deactivate if you fall. So you don't, so you will have to go down this again. Next up, let's do like trusses that are hanging from the ceiling. So we'll place a normal part and then a truss like this. Okay, so I think now I have an interesting idea. Let's do like a mini section thing inside of here. It's gonna be kind of an inception moment. It's gonna be like a tower within a tower, so kind of like Tower of Inception. And you're just gonna descend down here. So I guess more like Tower of Strategic Mechanics then. So this will be, this is in the center of the floor. And so this square will be the size that of a section this is. And so once you get to the bottom, you're gonna press a button, which will activate a bunch of platforms so that you can finish off the floor. And we'll put a thing here which you'll ladder flick to, and then you can kind of wrap around like that, I guess. Let's put a kill brick on the top of here, because why not? The first floor, in quotation marks, is gonna be, like, right here. Oh, I also put a kill brick right there, so it, and it, like, stakes out a little bit, so it's a little bit easier to land on the platform. So you'll jump down and then just walk out. So you won't be able to jump from up there to land on any platforms. And then the path you're gonna take to get down to the next floor, in quotation marks, is going to be right here and i don't have to worry about corner clipping anymore so i don't need to do like a bunch of anti-corner clip things because corner clips were patched honestly even if it was still here i probably wouldn't do anything uh since this would since doing that would skip such a short section anyway but i put a kill brick there let's actually move this up and you're gonna use like push box to get to it so that button is gonna reset the push block and you're gonna push it up this ramp from there you should be able to jump onto this yeah there we go so you'll be able to wrap around to there. We can add a little bit of an extra challenge by maybe adding a wedge. Yeah, I don't know if that really even made a difference, but whatever. So you'll jump down like that and you'll land on this platform. From here, uh, this will be, this is the kill brick floor. And, you'll, and then you'll climb up to like right here, I guess. All right, so from here, you're gonna jump to this truss and then ladder flick to right here. And then you're gonna do a slashy dance two glitch, just like that. And then from here, you're gonna head hitter up these conveyors. Then I think I was gonna put the button right here, but this is 18 speed. Um, well, okay, how about we do make it 15? If it's 18, then it's a Roblox character's walk speed is 16. So if I make it one less than that, you will be able to uh, get, you will be able to slowly walk over here and press the button. Cause otherwise you'd have to like jump back down, but then you, but then I kept end up falling. So yeah. The, the one above is a little bit slower now. We're gonna make this button be a dark blue button. Make objects visible with infinite time. The other one's gonna be infinite time as well, by the way. Now, this is gonna be make objects visible, so it's gonna activate something. Uh, I think the most logical thing to make it activate to allow you out of here um, is gonna be a part, like, up here. Like something you won't be able to get to until you press the button. So we're gonna make it so that this blue platform will activate, or they're all blue, but this dark blue platform. From there, you'll be able to jump like up to here to get out. So now let's place a platform here, I guess. It's gonna be another dark blue platform, and it's gonna help you like kind of get out here to jump to here. Now something I guess will be possible, we'll be jumping from down from here to there, kind of skipping this action. I feel like that'd be pretty difficult to actually pull off, but to do that, we'll just do the same thing as I did over here, which is a 100 speed conveyor. Now over here is still gonna be activated, I guess. So we can reuse this. I think that'd be kind of cool. If we add an extra part there, then you'll be able to make that jump. I'll make it an extra stud too. We're gonna make this be a little bit more tricky. I'm gonna make it so you have to jump into this one stud gap or 1.5 stud gap. I did something similar to this on Citadel of Eternal Corruption where you like press a button and then redo a section, but it's buffed. So you're gonna do the tightrope again as normal. I thought about putting a wraparound on here. Yeah, actually, you know what? I guess I will do that. Why not? 
like it's gonna be added for an extra challenge. So there, that's still not that difficult because this is still 0.3 studs, so it's not too bad. Okay, so from here you're, you'll walk down here. This is activated, so you do this instead of the following platforms. Um, now you'll kind of just walk forward so you can climb up that, and then I guess you can jump to that, which I just put there. It is possible. Uh, I just missed it that time because, of course, I did. Same for that time and that time. There we go. And then let's do ledge grabs, which are like where you go into climbing animation because you can't jump because there's a thing above your head. Although you do still jump, so yeah. Yeah, just like that. To make it a little bit easier, we can do that. And then, you know what? Let's actually make this go across this entire thing. From here, you'll do wrap arounds. I mean, walk arounds. And we'll place a part like this so we can put something here, I guess. Like maybe a one stud and then a jump to here. From here, we'll do some like slanted head hitter thingies to get to this kill break wrap round, which you'll do once again, which technically would take you right back to here. So I guess let's end the floor here. So let's place a platform. So let's place a platform that you'll walk to right there. I totally expected to fail that, so I just pressed two to go to no clip mode, like just out of habit. Uh, anyway, I guess then a truss, which will climb up to get to the next floor. So that's the end of the floor. Let me do some button linking and stuff, and then. We'll add in the music. Okay, so I've linked up the buttons properly. Uh, well, actually, I didn't make the de the button deactivator. Well, we'll deal with that in a second. Um, for when you fall. Anyway, let's add a music part right here. Let me mute the Aubrey Creator music. Even though it says right there it's copyright free, whatever. Um, so I can actually turn on the volume now. That's actually probably going to be really loud. But you know what? I can change it when I edit this. So let me paste in the ID. Here it is right here. I'll also link the assets link in the description as well if you want to go to the page where that actually is. So let's make a transparency one and can't collide false. Oh wait, it's not working because... There we go. I was like, I tested this earlier to make sure it actually worked and I was like so confused. Okay. Okay, let's put in- let's go ahead and put in the teleporter now uh, and then we'll listen to the music start. I was like, why is it not working? Uh, but while I'm at it, let me go ahead and let me go ahead and add the button activator, the button deactivators and stuff. I also put a button to activate the thing here so you can't walk back outside. Okay, I got that working now. So let me jump onto the teleporter and click this. You can see the song is playing or hear it. I mean, okay, so let's play through the thing now. Um, I actually made an adjustment here. I removed the like rotated cube. And just made that a little bit easier because otherwise this kind of soft locked you it, it was still possible but i figured this made a little bit more sense now hold on let me actually mute the music here because if i if i make a cut during the section then it's gonna like cut the song as well and that would sound weird so i'm actually just gonna use when i edit this the actual audio file that's on my computer um you can also see this closed behind me i did a similar effect like i did in the previous video where i rotated it and made it universal Anyway, from here, you'll jump to this conveyor. Uh, honestly, I feel like I should make this a little bit slower. Let's make it like uh, 14 maybe. There, so it's a little bit less annoying. This is a icy sphere part. And then you jump to that, the jump pad, and then you do a 10 stud wrap around. There we go. And then you do that, and then you can jump down, and then there we go. You can press the button to activate these teal platforms. Uh, let's pretend I made that. Okay, first try. Easy. Okay, let's lower this down a little bit, because that's kind of annoying that that happens. Anyway, you can jump to this moving platform, and then you need to jump on the spinning platform here, and then to here, and then to here, and then here. Then you go across this point three tight rope, and then you do these falling platform jumps. Kill brick wrap around, and then you jump here and do these uh, trusses. Then you can jump to this, and then jump down, and then you have this push box section. That's the respawn button right there. So you want to push the box up this section. I mean ramp, not section. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, then you can do that, and then you do that, and then jump down to the next area here. The floor is still a teleporter, so be aware of that. Then you so you do that, and then you do a slash a dance two clip, just like that. Then you do a conveyor head hitter, and then you. Um, walk over here to press the button. Now I guess do be aware you can still fall right here. But anyway, from here you're gonna slash E dance to glitch back. There we go. And then you're gonna jump up here. This is a little bit tricky here, but if you go at an angle it's a little bit easier. Now you can jump here, and then this is a long jump, kind of. And then you do this again. There we go. 
then that, and then you jump in the smaller gap here. Now, this time, the section is a little bit buffed. Really, only that's, like, actually buffed. Everything else is just, like, a different path that I guess just happens to be a little bit more tricky. But you do this instead here, and then this is a ledge grab. I would recommend using shift blocker first person to face towards this platform, uh, facing this way, as, like, dirt mid-air. That way you can go into climbing animation on the, like, destination platform, I guess you could say. And then you do these head hitters. There are, there are I guess, a few ways to do this. Um, and then you just finish the floor normally from here, or, like, get to the center section, I mean. But instead of going down there again, um, you'll climb up this. I do feel like it would make sense to put a platform here that prevents you from going back inside. Just so you can tell that is what you're supposed to do. So that should help guide you, I guess, that you're supposed to go this way. And then you'll be on the next floor that's currently non-existent. So there we have it. That is Citadel of Abstraction Floor 10. I enjoyed composing the song. It was really fun. I might actually make my own music for my towers in the future too. But if you did enjoy this video, then please remember to leave a like and consider subscribing. I'd love to hit 2,000 subscribers soon. Once again, here's the ID right here. Now I know there's not much detail on the floor, but I'll go back in and add that like off camera. Also, when you get to the floor, you'll still have the previous floor's effects. I still don't know what effects I'm going to apply here, and I mentioned Fog End. I guess it'll have kind of the default effects, but with Fog End. So like, this, these effects, but with the Fog End. Maybe I'll make the time of day like 7 or something, to make it look a little bit different, I guess, like the shadows or whatever. So yeah, let me know what you think of this floor in the comments down below. And with that, I'll see you in the next video, and have a great day.